Okay, good day everyone. So uh, today we'll discuss our first lesson, which is the contemporary workplace. Uh, sorry for the handwriting, no? I'm pang it. Okay, when we say uh, the contemporary workplace, we're talking about the modern and the present uh, state of uh, the workplace. Now, uh, we all know hindi naman pare-pareho ang um, setting ng mga workplace, no? how they treat their employees, the benefits, no? but we'll try to get uh, an overview or a picture of what the present workplace is like. Okay? Now, of course, kayo, pag naghanap kayo ng trabaho in the future, no? so titignan nyo, no? magkano ba yung sweldo, ano bang benefits, okay, but it's more, uh, it's more than that. Hindi lang palagi uh, sweldo, no? Minsan, mataas nga yung sweldo mo, eh, unhappy, unhappy ka naman sa work mo. Okay? Meron naman, tama lang yung sweldo, pero may professional fulfillment. So, you have to find a balance uh, between the two. So, ano ba ang uh, gusto mo? Okay. The contemporary workplace can be divided into four, <coughs> uh, four parts. Huh? So we have the evolution of the workplace, uh, the scope of the contemporary workplace, the link, and the demand from uh, the workers. So itong apat na to, ang titignan natin sa mga aspeto ng contemporary workplace. Okay, first let's go to the evolution, okay? Uh, the evolution can also be divided into four uh, parts, no? four categories. First is uh, that the evolution in the technology, okay? Number one is technology, under evolution yan, eh? So, pag sinabi natin technology, okay? So, um, ano ba yung mga nagbago in terms of uh, Equipment, na? technology. Okay, so dati-rati, di ba, wala pa namang mga computer. Okay, wala nang internet, na? Ano ba bang wala dati? Okay, uh, siguro 10 years ago, to inform their employees, uh, cell phone, o kaya email lang, na? Ngayon, mga social media sites, na? O kaya dati, mga printed uh, memo, na? Printed advisories. Okay, so meron ding uh, drawback yung uh, pag-evolve ng technology. Okay, so dati uh, wala kang choice kundi sasabihin sa iyo, no? Or papadalan ka ng message na, oy, may meeting tayo ganitong oras, ganitong uh, lugar. Ngayon, kapag pino sa social media na may meeting kayo in a specific time and place, you can pretend that hindi mo nakita yung message na yan, no? hindi mo na seen. Okay, so meron drawback yung mga ganyan. Ang advantage naman ngayon, madaling ma-reach ng employees, na no? Any time of the day, kahit nasaan ka man, no? Minsan nga, kahit nagbabakasyon ka, parang storbo pa, di ba? Kahit weekend, okay? Isa pang drawback yan ng evolution ng technology, na no? <clears throat> uh, Number two is the workplace uh, environment. So before, uh, when you work, talaga uh, work lang, no? wala masyadong uh, pleasure. Ngayon, companies try to install uh, other facilities, no? such as, for example, uh, gaming rooms, no? relaxation rooms, even yung uh, nursery ng mga workplace, kung saan pwedeng dalin ng mga empleyado yung mga anak nila if walang magbabantay sa bahay, no? So, uh, ngayon, I think, merong mas overall care yung ibang companies for their uh, employee wellness. No? Hindi naman lahat. No? Again, meron pa rin mga companies na op oppressive ang kanilang uh, mga pagpapatakbo sa mga company nila. Okay, if you look at uh, Google, no? so, may movie yung Google, yung uh, The Internship. No? Tingnan mo, parang ang daming benefits na facilities sa mga empleyado nila. Okay, you can also look at that when searching for a workplace. No? Even the simple uh, lounge, okay, malaking bagay yan. No? The pantry, 
malaking bagay din po yan sa workplace uh, environment. Okay? Even the uh, yung upuan, yung lamesa ng mga empleyado, that's also a factor when it comes to employee uh, satisfaction. No? Speaking of employee satisfaction, yun ang pangatlong part ng uh, evolution. Okay? Satisfied by employee mo? Happy ba? Kasi pag hindi happy, chances are aalis uh, yung empleyado mo, no? Or ipipirata ng ibang company. Uso yan, no? And the last one is, nabanggitin pala natin to employee wellness. Okay? So, kasama dyan yung mga team building uh, exercises. Okay? So, minsan kasi minamaliit ng mga manager yun, no? mga superior, yung mga ganang uh, team building, no? outing. No? But I think it's uh, very important para magkakilala pa yung mga empleyado. Okay, hindi lang naman trabaho lang ang uh, dapat gawin sa trabaho. No? Okay, uh, ang nagbago rin, uh, another evolution is the workplace culture. So, uh, radical din yung change na nangyari na, no? Old practices have been uh, rendered obsolete while modern approaches emerge. Okay? Workplace environment, isa pa, no? Uh, yung work from home setup, no? Even yung study from home setup, siguro nakaka-relate kayo dyan, no? So, you can work anywhere, no? Anytime. Okay, baka yung trabaho mo nasa United States, ikaw, somewhere in Asia, no? Baka nasa Indonesia ka, nasa beach. Relax ka doon, nakas nagtatrabaho ka rin. Okay? Part yan ng technological uh, advancement, no? Mga freelancer. Okay? Workplace environment and employees who fail to adapt to these changes will have a challenging task ahead of them. Okay, that's why ngayon, uh, alimbawa ako, meron, kami mga teacher, medyo nahirapan kami mag-adjust sa work from home setup. Especially itong paggawa ng mga course pack ninyo. No? Kasi kapag medyo hindi ka technologically uh, adept, no? talagang mahuhuli ka. Matalang uh, there are other faculty members at I know na ang galing no? sa technology, sa videos, no? mga ganyan. No? So, automatically may edge na sila. So ngayon, I suggest that in your homes, no, try to develop your uh, internet skills more, no? Photoshop, mga ganyan, uh, editing na no? of videos, no? Baka makatulong 'yan. If let's say 3 or 4 years from now, I work from home setup pa rin tayo. Okay, now we go to the scope. Okay, the contemporary workplace is uh, global and diverse. Okay? So, hindi na lang uh, mga kapwa mo, Pilipino lagi ang katrabaho mo. Minsan, you have uh, uh, guests or visitors or collaborators from uh, different cultures. No? You should learn uh, to adjust as well. Uh, today's workplace also demands uh, communication, network, and collaboration. So even though you don't like a certain person from a different department or a different company na, or a different culture, na, sometimes you will be uh, demanded to uh, work with them. Okay, So you need to uh, adjust, to collaborate. Okay? So, uh, as a sort of reflection, no? do you think you can collaborate and communicate well with others? Do you hate working in teams? Ikaw ba yung madaling mabuisit kapag mayroong uh, nag-slap off na, na teammate mo? Okay? Try to reflect on that. No? How good are you at making connections? So, dapat uh, medyo may skill din tayo when it comes to connecting with other people, making networks. No? Who knows, down the line, baka makatulong sila sa atin no? or baka matulungan natin sila in the future naman. Okay? So, no matter how much you dislike that person, no? sipin mo, no? uh, what connections or collaborations can we have in the 
teacher na. Yun na lang isipin mo siguro. Okay, uh, the link. Uh, the link is more of uh, interactive and digital na. So lahat niya na uh, online na. Internet. Okay, email na. Social media posts. Even yung pag-submit ng mga requirements, na, online na rin. Na. Uh, virtual spaces are explored na, where people in remote lo locations can hold meetings, na, access common databases, share information or files, make plans and solve problems together without the need for face-to-face -face interaction. Okay, that's why, di ba, maraming uh, lumalabas na mga let's say mga meme or mga para comic strip ngayon na that meeting could have been an email okay so kumbaga mas naging efficient na yung mga tao ngayon when it comes to communicating na kasi pagka face to face interaction parang ha yun na yung meeting natin ha? hindi na kailangan sa ng meeting na okay so yung mga zoom na yan no? mga facebook uh, video call na part din yan, no? mga Google Classroom, Google Meet. Okay, that's also part of it. No? At uh, I encourage you to study it as well. No? Kahit ako, no? kailangan ko pang aralin yung mga yan. What else? Uh, okay, computer and internet literacy is necessary as a foundation of uh, for a career success. Even yung pag-purchase mo, let's say, ng equipment, no? necessary for uh, yung mga ganyang work from home setup, no? part din po yan. Okay? So, on your free time, no? try to study things connected to uh, this. Okay, the demand. No? So, ano ba ang hinihingi ng mga employers no? sa mga applicants no? or mga employees nila? Ideally, the workplace demands competent, empathetic, and ethical workforce. These are the ideal uh, traits of an employee. However, no, if your workplace is not competent, if they are not empathetic, if they are not ethical, for me, it's hard for an employee to do the same. No? So, kung empleyado ka, no, bakit ka magiging competent, ethical, na? kung ang mismo employer mo ay hindi pinapakita yung mga traits na yan, na? parang gago ba kayo, di ba? Nagde-demand kayo sa akin, samantalang kayo, hindi naman kayo ganun mag-perform. Okay? So, the same way that employees demand benefits from work, employers can demand certain competencies from their uh, employees uh, naman. No? So, give and take relationship po yan. Hindi pwede puro give, give, give lang employer. No? Puro take lang si employee. No? So, dapat uh, mutually beneficial ang uh, relationship. Okay. <clears throat> uh, some examples of workplaces no? na maganda ang benefits. So, perhaps uh, Diba, uh, para may recent survey dati, uh, Google, no? maganda ang benefits nila sa employees nila. Maraming freebies. No? Para it's the best place to work uh, daw. No? Hindi ko lang alam kung gano'ng katotoo yun. No? Uh, other examples of workplaces naman. No? However, uh, sa tingin ko, ang Pilipinas ay medyo nahuhuli when it comes to uh, modernizing our workplace. No? Talagang napaka-oppressive pa rin for majority of our employees. No? Not only in employee wellness and satisfaction, kundi sa uh, compensation natin. Okay? Minsan nga, uh, kayo pa ihingi ng higher or fair compensation, ikukulong pa kayo, sasaktan pa kayo, di ba? So talagang nakakalungkot din talaga magtrabaho sa Pilipinas. No? Kung hindi... Uh, white collar job ang iyong i pursue Okay, perhaps you've uh, heard of how 
SM uh, group of companies treat their employees, no? Nabalita na yun dati, no? Hindi ka paabuti ng 6 months, no? 5 months lang, i-dispatch ka na para hindi mo ma makuha yung mga benefits, no? Same with Jollibee, di ba? Dati merong boycott Jollibee. Yang uh, ano pa tong controversial na, ano? Yung mga Mang Tomas, no? Yung ano ka pa? Mang Tomas, UFC, no? Nissin ata, as far as I know ba yan? So even sila, very oppressive ang kanilang uh, mga patakara, no? Ang government, actually, no? medyo maganda pa ang benefits nila compared sa ibang company, no? Kung ano na ng bonus, no? Mga ganun. But it's hard to really uh, find a perfect company in the Philippines. No? A good company actually. Run by uh, Filipinos. No? Merong iba, magaganda benefits, pero they are run by foreign investors. Some friends of mine, they work abroad. No? Talagang ibang-iba ang treatment nila sa empleyado nila. Magandang benefits. No? Sagot pang pabahay minsan. No? So, talagang gaganahan ka doon magtrabaho. Ngayon, even the nurses, di ba? Ang mga frontliners natin. Some of them are treated like shit sa Pilipinas. Yung kakilala ko dati, per month niya sa private hospital, 12,000 lang. Tapos may mga overtime pa yun. Tapos kaya nag-abroad uh, na siya, no? Di hamak, malaki ang difference sa sweldo. Okay. So, these are the things that you should uh, look or consider when uh, surveying a contemporary workplace. Okay? So, kayo as employees, as future employees, no, medyo may karapatan na kayong magsalita uh, ngayon. No? Mas marami nang nagsa-speak up ngayon. Another example na naisip ko, uh, in terms of employee wellness, satisfaction, no? demand, Okay, perhaps you've heard of it, yung kay Ellen DeGeneres, na? So, she seems like a nice uh, boss, na? Sa TV. Pero behind the scenes, uh, parang shit daw siya mag-treat na mga employees niya. Okay, kala niyo fun, ni naman pala. Na? Okay, so yun, tignan niyo rin yun, na? You won't be happy sa workplace niyo kapag may failures sa karamihan ng mga uh, categories na yan. Okay? But, uh, minsan maganda rin maranasan yung mga ganun bagay, no? Para ma-appreciate mo rin yung future workplace na mahanap mo na mapapasaya ka. Okay? So, uh, thank you. So, uh, this is the end of our lesson.